Okay, hi to all you YouTube shade tree mechanics like myself. Um, I am not a certified mechanic. I was a jet engine mechanic in the service. Um, what we're working on here is a lifter, hydraulic lifter, roller lifter for a 94 Explorer 4 liter. Okay, I looked everywhere. I couldn't find how these things are torn apart. Um, anywhere on YouTube um, or anywhere else on the internet for that matter uh, normally these are just a throw away uh, throwing things away that are still perfectly good all I need is a cleaning is is ridiculous in my book so I have some downtime so I thought I'd throw this video together for all those guys that are looking to uh, um, see how these things come apart and here we go so um, first things first we need to take off this plastic collar uh, this is to direct oil down to where the push rod goes, which is here. And there are little notches in the side, so you get up underneath here with a small screwdriver and just give it a little bit of a pry. Be careful because this is only plastic. And yeah, you can break it. Alright, so there. Right, so now we have the bore where we need to get this guy out. And you can tap it, you can play around with it, but you have to remember that there's suction, there's still oil in here that is holding these guys in place. Now, I can't push it in because it still has a bunch of oil underneath it that is preventing it from compressing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in back of it and push it outward. So there's a little oil journal here. I'm gonna, going to put my uh, parts cleaner, straw through that oil, journal, and give it a, a shot, and bingo. That comes out. Right. Now, um, you still have another bit in there that needs to come out also. Now, these don't, these will not normally come out with a shot and through the oil journal but it will clean a lot of the junk out of there the old oil and such so it's not a bad idea to give it a, a good blast just to clean the old oil up um, if you notice my little workstation here is just a box top cut off it end cut off of it just to keep every everything where i can find it okay so we'll mop up some of this cleaner Try to keep it pretty clean. You know, all, all you types that are anal about keeping things spotless and clean, I understand that, but, you know, I'm a shade tree mechanic. Um, I do with what I have. At any rate, um, so we have this guy that needs to be extracted. This is your check ball assembly in there. So, um, piece of wood, give it a tap. And it's not always easy to come out, so. Um, if it doesn't come out, then there's one other suggestion. Because of that check ball in there is holding pressure up underneath of it, um, it's a good idea to take a ballpoint pen and stick it down in there and release the pressure by pushing down on the check valve on that ball in there. And what that does is it relieves the pressure of the oil that's underneath it which will break the suction and basically you just kind of work a little bit and you can hear it so what i'm doing is i'm working the oil from underneath to on top and once that suction is broken it's just regular parts cleaner i'm using there i'm sure there's a guy out there going oh my god you're going to ruin everything with parts cleaner you know, well, I don't, I don't agree with that, but anyway, like I said, I'm not, I'm simply a shade tree mechanic that seems to get the job done, and the stuff I work on normally works pretty well, so, and I do have a, uh, I'm a certified jet engine mechanic, so. 
all you guys that you see on TV that are you know, so meticulous and immaculate about everything. Good for you. Right, so that came out pretty easily uh, once you broke the suction inside. So that is an awesome tip right there. If you can just relieve that check ball in there, that relieves the suction underneath, brings the oil from underneath to on top, and it makes it a lot easier with that thing to slide out because these bores, if they're in good shape, should slide right out. Right, so we have a spring underneath the check ball assembly. We have the check ball assembly that's a little cockeyed right now. It's because I banged on it when I was wrapping on it. I'm sure that that didn't do it any favors. So pull that off, that keeper off, and you'll see there's a check ball. Put that check ball somewhere. It's not going to get lost. But the tricky part is in this keeper is a spring and it's really hard to see because it's a tiny tiny spring and I don't know can you see that can you see it on the end of that plier okay it's right there right so being these pliers are magnetic you won't let go of it that's a steel spring so I use my little ballpoint pen, and I take that spring off, and for God's sake, don't lose it, as it springs across this, my little workstation here. And this is why I have this built the way it is, because when things go flying, hopefully they don't go straight up in the air and go into orbit. They stay in the workstation. Right, so, we're done with the uh, block of wood. So we have all the bits and pieces here. Now, um... Start by cleaning the bore of the uh, lifter. So there's bound to be a little bit of debris at the bottom here, a little bit of solidified oil, whatever. Throw some cleaner in there, like so. Now, with the cleaner in there, actually I'm going to dump that out because it's probably pretty dirty because um, I did scrape the bottom of it. So. What I'm going to do now is go over to my air, my compressed air, and I'm going to put my nozzle, I have a, a rubber end on my, uh, my, blow, my, uh, my air gun, and it's going to fit nicely in there, and it'll blow out this journal right here. This is where the oil from the engine passes through and charges this um, lifter. So at any rate, I'll be right back. 